Hey guys, so as promised, I was going to try and film my um, rack that I'm going to be making. Um, a nail polish rack. So, um, the items you're going to need is a ruler. Um, you're going to need some nails. This will help sturdy it. Um, I just, I can't remember where I got these. They're just assortment of different kinds of nails. I got them when I made my nail polish rack. An X-Acto knife. I have two sizes here. Um, some duct tape. I have zebra and hot pink. And of course a hot glue gun. And I just got that one at Walmart, I do believe. So, um, Oh, and you're going to need some poster board. I got that sitting there on the ground. So let me get set up and uh, we'll go ahead and start this out. Um, I'm not going off any measurements or anything like that. I'm just doing this strictly on my own. So I don't know any of the measurements yet, um, but as we go along, I'll tell you what, what is what so you guys know. So. So this is roughly 10 by 10 is what the final thing is. So we got a 10 by 10, a 10 by 10 sheet. This is going to be your base. Okay, this we got to cut to fit the board, so cut off the excess length here, so it would be basically a 10 by 10, or a 10 inch sheet. So then we're going to glue this on like this, so you're going to have like a little shelf. Make sure you're all lined up. It could be, it's okay if you're going to be a little off because we are going to put um, duct tape over it. So, but try and get it best as you can to match up. And to reinforce it so it's a little bit sturdy, go ahead and um, take your hot glue gun and glue on the inside there. So, we're going to go along the outside here to reinforce that. Take a nail, any size, and turn your board over. And we're going to put it through here so that helps hold the boards together. So you want to kind of line that up to where it's at. Just push it in there. Push it all the way up. Then that helps. Oops. Try not let it come out the other side. If it does, just take it out and um, put it over again here. So we're gonna push that up through there and not let it come out this time. Just slowly guide it up through there. Okay. And you're gonna see it in there since it's Dollar Tree brand it's a little thin poster board but see the nails there but that also helps reinforce this so go ahead and do it on the other side as well and in the middle if you want which I'm gonna do I really need a camera for this <laughs> so hard filming on my phone Okay, so then when you get done, see the three nails in there? And you have a little shelf. And that makes it pretty sturdy here. It hardly uh, any moves, it doesn't move at all with that glue and um, the nails as a reinforcement. That does not move. Okay, so you want another piece. Let me go get my lipstick real quick. One of my color whispers. And you want to measure on how big that you want this. This piece is broken, so I'm not going to use it. But I'm just going to give the examples. Because we're going to put it up like this. And you want, you know, to be able to fit lipstick in there. You can have two rows of lipstick, like this one would be. Or you can cut it down to where it would only be one row of lipstick. 
However you decide, because that piece is broken. Just gonna cut this big piece off here. And I'm thinking I want to do just one, because I think two would be too much, because we're going to stack this. So I just want to do one. So first I'm going to cut this extra length off. One lipstick to fit comfortably in there would be like that. So cut it right there. So that, guys, that measurement is probably about, it's about an inch. So this thing will be an inch thick to fit the lipstick on there. So again, we're gonna glue the itty bitty little shelf on. So we're gonna glue this little piece onto here so it makes like a little stair. there a minute. Try and get it lined up as best as you can. This tutorial is going to be long and it's going to be horrible so I might not even be speaking. <laughs> okay you want to reinforce it. So since this is on the outside do a thin layer of glue. You don't need that much. Like I said we are going to cover it up with tape. So okay and then you want to take a nail in and um, I'm gonna push it through the top here. Since the tape will be covering it, it won't matter. Oops. Okay. So push it through. Do one in the middle. And then do one on the side here. Okay. Nice and sturdy. Now we're going to put another flat piece back here. So it's going to make like stairs, or stand up like this. So, get our piece here, you want to figure out how high you want it to go. And we're probably going to keep it the same as this one down here, which is about two inches high. gonna have something that looks like a bench and we're gonna reinforce this underneath with some glue just go ahead and put your nail through if you can I didn't get it very even a nail in there see I got one nail in there um, I'll go down a little bit further before it veers off and put another just for extra support. Keep going that way, just keep layering it um, until I'm at the end of my board like that. Um, I will come by and put another piece like this and then put another piece like this. So it, it becomes a tall stairs. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is what I have done so far. 
There's three shelves, but it's going to be four, and the reason I haven't put the fourth back on it yet is because I'm going to finish it. So I have some left over here, so um, we're going to cut that off. Um, I didn't want to make it too big, so I decided just to cut it off. Now we're going to put a piece of plywood behind this. And, um... So that's why I didn't um, do it up yet because of this plywood that I'm going to put on the back. And this will help support it as well. Just have to get it to where it's not going to mess it up. You can see. So I'm just going to measure this where I want it. So it's going to look like a bench basically, like bleachers. And I've already measured it and I know where I want to cut this back piece off. So I'm going to cut that off. And I didn't do it all the way because I just, I didn't want to cut it off all the way and then I needed it. So we will trim that up. I just want to make sure that this is going to fit on there right and that my lipsticks aren't going to fall. Glue the bottom on and uh, then we'll go from there. So that way I don't have to guess where the glue goes. I do need to cut off some of the excess sides. Glue our bench down. Okay. As you can see, I have some excess hanging off here. So I'm going to trim that up. Take the little, little exacto knife. Sheesh, I always hold those backwards. I should back cut myself. A little uneven, so I'm gonna straighten this up. Okay. <laughs> It's not perfectly straight, but so far this is what we've got. Okay. And I guess there's a little hang off here, so I'm going to trim that down. You can leave it open like that, or if you want to trouble yourself and put a board here, you could do that. But since I didn't leave the extra hanging off here, it's not going to be even at the top. If you can see that, there's a little space in there. Or you can cut board by board and lay them in there, which I'm going to do. Because I don't want that, I don't think I want that open. You could also, when you duct tape, just cover it with duct tape. But I am going to put the board by board, by board. Again, this step is totally optional.
done, you should have something that looks like this. See, it's all covered up. It's not perfect by any means, but that's what home projects are all about, right? So, I'm making a mess out of this glue. I have a mess on the table. <laughs> So I've debated on whether I should put like, no, I'm just going to leave it the way it is right now um, on the side. And then if I need to fix something, I will go and do that as I go. Okay, so now i got to cover this side. So I'm going to cover this side and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've got my sides covered. So thinking is I'm going to do pink down here and everywhere else is going to be zebra stripe. So, let's get out the pink duct tape. And we'll just measure it off. Let me grab some scissors real quick. And down the sides right here, I'm going to do zebra print. So, we'll just evenly do this. And put it down as close to the little edges as possible. Can either press that down and it'll be covered by the zebra stripe or you can cut it off and put it somewhere else but I'm thinking that that's not gonna be thick enough yeah it's not gonna be thick enough so I'm just gonna press it down and it'll co be covered by the zebra stripe so that's your first row there so then we'll do it again up top There's the pink. So now we're going to take the zebra and cover everything else that's not covered by the pink. That looks like this. I got these at Big Lots in case you guys didn't watch my haul. Um, So I just noticed that this is a very transparent, so I'm going to have to go back through and cut this tape off. I don't want that pink coming through. So that's what that'll look like, and I have to put a little piece here. But um, So I'm going to go back through, fix these, and cover it up, and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so um, I got it all wrapped. This is what it looks like. So I want to um, put up like a little barrier so these don't fall off there. So I want to do something like this. And this is just a 10 inch strip. Um, and it's about an inch thick and um, I just covered it already in the duct tape and then these little guys are going to be like little dividers like that um, and I'm not going to cover them individually with tape because that would take too long and these are oops, about an inch long so what I'm going to do 
put this lipstick here. And I'm going to put these guys down first. So. So to look like that, and then we're just going to keep going down. So then I'm going to take this piece and we're going to put it right there, like so. and cut them a little bit shorter so that way I can put this little guy on here. Then we'll put this on here. And then now you have your little lips. And I didn't want to do this up too high because then I wouldn't be able to read them. Um, you'll still be able to read that. So um, I'm going to finish this off and I will be back to show you the finished product. Okay guys, so I got this finished. Um, this is what... You can see that. What the top looks like. It has its own little compartments in there. Grr. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'm just gonna leave the sides open like that. So let's fill this up with lipsticks. This is where I wanted it to sit, but as you can see, it's kind of big um, since I did make it a little bit bigger and I think it kind of looks out of place sitting there I don't like it so let me arrange stuff around real quick so for right now it's just gonna sit there like this um, I think that looks pretty good don't mind the mess over here that's just from all the stuff I just took out of there so anyways let's put some lipsticks in it So that's what my little lip rack looks like. I know it's not a lot of lip products. I thought I had more than that. But um, that's all I have right now for lipsticks and then like my um, lip stains and um, the e.l.f. lip glosses are over here because they won't fit. I might have to make something separate for these things because if I put it here it just sticks out and just... See, it looks out of place, and it doesn't look right, even down here. I mean, I could do it, but I just think it looks out of place. And I'd rather get something for my lip glosses and the lip stains, since they are different than regular lipsticks. So, anyways, guys, I know that was kind of a long tutorial, and I hope you guys followed along. You know, I hope it was easy to follow along with. Um... I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out, actually. Um, I like it, and it's a good thing to hold all my um, lipsticks. So, um, I forgot to tell you how it goes. So, up here we got the Fergie collection, 
Then it goes down to the Whispers, the Revlon Lip Butters, and then over here I have the NYC, um, yeah, um, the NYC, uh, Liquid Lip Shine, sorry, had a brain fart there for a moment. Um, and so next, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these to organize in my drawers because I have drawers down here. It's too dark to see, but if I pull it open, I mean, that is just a mess in there. Um, it's empty bags and loose stuff. Um, I also have this drawer. Um, I know it's too dark. You guys can't see it. But anyways, I'm going to use these to organize it, so I'll have to get some more, and I'm going to... Hopefully in the next couple days, decide on a uh, design what I want to do for my eyeshadow palettes. I haven't decided yet if I want to do something kind of like this, but a little bit different. But, you know, the tears or what. Um, but I am going to make it small enough so it actually fits on this. Um, since I don't need it that big. The lipstick one, I kind of needed it bigger. But um, this one, the, for the palettes, I'm not going to. It's just going to need a small, you know, little... Uh, area or I might um, put it in here it'd be longer but it'd be shorter I don't know yet um, I haven't decided if I want it over there or if I want it under there um, everything's kind of a mess so um, not sure yet but um, I will definitely record for you guys again um, hopefully you guys saw everything um, in the beginning my camera was a little low um, but then I fixed it so anyways um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, DIY project, and um, we'll see you for the next one. Alright guys, bye!